beeping and the car is still driving. I can turn off the hazards, accelerate, and it still works. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing really well. Today we're going to be going and doing something that I've actually seen happen quite a lot. I've seen, you know, quite a few people do this test, but not recently, not on the new updates. And also, I've never seen people do it actually just on a normal road. A lot of people have tried this, what happens if you leave autopilot on? They've tried it on like some really weird routes and some really weird roads. So what I wanted to do was just go onto a normal road where there's no traffic, uh, everything nice and safe, and just give this a whirl and basically see what really does happen if you leave autopilot on and just ignore it. Now, the best thing about doing this in this car is this is a older uh, Model X. This is a 2017 Model X 75D, currently running 2019.12.11 software. So this isn't the newest. There's a reason for that. I'm actually not upgrading the software at the moment because they've actually nerfed autopilot in the latest update, which really, really sucks. So I'm literally, uh, I'm just gonna stick onto this software as long as I can. It normally takes around kind of 30 seconds for it to first realize that you're not doing anything or maybe you're not focusing and you're not paying attention. So for the first 30 seconds, we're not really gonna see anything, but then all of a sudden it's gonna start flashing and then it starts getting really, really angry and pissed off at you that you're uh, not starting to take control. So in this car, all you need to do once it asks you to put your hands on the wheel is actually just kind of shake it slightly. I think what it does is it uses the friction maybe that you generate by pulling in a different direction to confirm that you are in fact there behind the wheel. Uh, interesting, we've actually just become behind another car, so a car's pulled out in front of us, but I don't think that should affect this. If anything, it should make it seem like a real world use case. Okay, so you can see here it says apply slight turning force to steering wheel. I'm just going to ignore that because, you know, I am holding the wheel quite clearly with my fingers. So I'm going to ignore that message and just keep on going. It's starting flashing a little bit brighter at the top, a little bit harder. It's now gone red. And as we do that, a learner is about to pull out behind us. Luckily, he seems to be taking a long time. So that's pretty good. And then as we're going down, it's beeping. It's really beeping. We've still got this little message on. Still, and it's autopilot is unavailable for the rest of the drive. And it's coming to a stop. Now, what it did do there is actually turned on the indicators um, for hazards. So it turned on the hazards indicator. Don't worry, the uh, learner driver was still miles behind, so he didn't uh, actually get affected by any of that. But you'll see that it turns on the hazards and starts slowing down. Now, the reason I'm doing this test is because recently in the news, some idiot uh, got drunk, drove their Tesla, and fell asleep while autopilot was on. Now, luckily, it, I say idiot, it is an idiot, but luckily he didn't crash, he didn't kill anyone, and no one was actually affected by it, except for himself and his driver's license. And I wanted to see what on like a normal road like this would autopilot do. Whereas on a motorway, we know that it does the exact same thing. But I was thinking, if we're going slower, does it do something a little bit different? This time what we'll go and do is, now we know that that happens, I've got to turn the car off and on again, because it won't actually do it anymore. Because obviously, uh, it said that autopilot's not available for the rest of the drive. So somehow I've got to treat the car uh, to a lovely shutdown and pretend I'm not in it. Did that work? Actually, you know what I'll do is I'll get out because I think it senses that my butt's on the seat and I'll just lock it. If I'm being honest, I don't actually know what I would want autopilot to do if it detected my hands and everything weren't on the wheel. I think that's probably the safest thing is just to come to a complete stop and put the hazards lights on. And that actually obviously is not illegal. There's nothing wrong with, with doing an emergency stop and doing that. I had to actually pull autopilot off because it was just gonna like sideswipe that taxi that was parked on the road. But what I will do is I'll actually, uh, I'll actually speed autopilot up a bit and I'll go the speed limit for the first bit just so that we stay like closer behind the, the car in front of us and cars behind hopefully won't catch up quite as quick and we'll be able to come to a complete stop a little bit more. But yeah, like I said, there is nothing technically or legally wrong about coming to a complete stop and putting your hazard lights on in the middle of the road. So let's do it, let's give it a go. If a car does come behind, then he's gonna be potentially a little bit confused, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I should have timed it actually to see how long it would take for autopilot to do this, but you guys can hopefully time it and, and put it in the comment section and let me know what it kind of is. So we've actually got cars coming like in and out here in front of us making it a little bit more interesting. I actually want to say it's a 30 down here, so I'm going to pull it down to 30. It says 40, I'm pretty sure it's 30. Now, I don't know if 
when I just did that, I tapped the stalk. I don't know if that will make autopilot think that I'm here and maybe it doesn't count now because I've done that. Again, it'll be interesting to see if there's a time difference between the two. Okay, here we go. A light, light turning force to the steering wheels popped up again. There's no one behind us, so we're all good here. But there's a car in the road and autopilot does come to a full stop anyway and it's just gonna stop behind this car for us. So that's that test completely ruined by some taxi driver. Ah, let's do it again. Third time's a charm. Okay, this time we're not actually gonna worry about the cars behind us at all, because again, it shouldn't be a problem and it, it, it isn't a problem. So last time we came down, we just got stopped by this taxi here, but you know, he's just done the same to somebody. He just pulled on the road and just randomly stopped. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Let's see when this does actually start turning on though. I've got to look around my camera, so it's quite hard sometimes to see the, see the screen. Have we, got, we haven't got a car behind us. We've got another car on the road here. I'm not sure if the car's gonna be all right with it. Yeah, it seems to be okay. Yeah, it's going around it. Got really close though, but it did go around it. Still nothing. And again, I am holding, but I'm just holding super, super lightly. Yeah, it's still, we're still not getting anything. It actually would allow you then to take your hands off the wheel for a really long time. Because I'm definitely not holding on enough for it to recognize my hands here. Now, I want it to come up with that warning again so that I can then blip the speed up and see if the speed makes any difference. But... It's not. Aha, here we go. So I'm gonna just blip the speed up twice. Okay, so the speed has nothing to do. When you use the stalk, it has nothing to do with autopilot. Autopilot doesn't know that you're there. Oddly though, it's gone away. Actually, maybe it does, since I've done that. Yeah, it does, because since I did that, autopilot has now um, turned the warning back off. And I definitely haven't held the wheel enough for it to do that. I'm literally like just touching it with a thumb. The wheel. But we've got cars like now, the car in front of us is turning right. So does that reset like the autopilot system at all? Or does that, you know, does, does that make a difference? So again, I haven't really touched the wheel since we started this journey, but the car is still not warning me at all. You can see my left hand is actually completely off. My left hand sat on my lap and this thumb is just resting. Aha, there we go, apply slight, here we go, here we go. Okay, so we're actually getting up to speed and we're leaving some space, which is good behind the car, uh, behind us. I don't even know if I should put my hand out my, the window and just like tell him that I'm stopping. So yeah, we're getting all of these lines. Apply light force, the steering wheels happened again. And is it gonna do anything? There we go, it's beeping, beeping. The car behind left us loads of space, which is good. Autopilot's unavailable for the rest of the drive. The car is coming to a complete stop and it just stops here. It literally is just stopping here. The car behind us is actually going the other direction, which is quite lucky. Now what's happening now is I'm actually accelerating. There's no one behind us. I'm accelerating and the car is still driving. It's beeping, but it's still driving even if I accelerate, which is really, really strange. So if I take my foot off the accelerator, it brakes again. Really weird. So I can actually carry on. What if I turn off the hazards? I can turn off the hazards, accelerate, and it still works. Uh, okay, I'm actually coming up some red lights. So I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna let it stop again. And I'm gonna see what it does. There's no one behind us. This time it hasn't put the hazard. There's no one on the road, right? It's now not put the hazards on, and we've come to a complete stop in the middle of the road, which is really, really strange. Um, so. I, I don't know what that was about. The first time we did it, we obviously noticed that it put the hazards on, brought us to a complete stop, which is fine. But if I accelerate, the car will continue to drive and steer for us. And then if I turn off the hazards, it doesn't, like the hazard, it will keep the hazards off and then continue. Yeah, that's weird that is. What we're gonna do this time then is just quickly see what that has actually done to our car. What has been limited since we abused the autopilot system uh, yeah, let's see. So will it autopilot for us? It normally would have come on by now and it's not, so I'm gonna take that as a no, but we're gonna use cruise control. So cruise control does work. 
but then nothing else does. So it does say for the end of this, until the end of this drive. So I'm in interested to see what the Tesla thinks the end of a drive is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull over here. Obviously, like I said, you can pull over wherever you want on our roads and it's completely legal, which is stupid, but that's, that's the rule. So I'm gonna pull over here and I'm just gonna stop. I've put it into park. Um, I'm just gonna, just gonna wait for a second. Like, so I'm gonna get out my seat. I'm gonna turn off the indicator. And I'm gonna get out my seat for a second. This looks really weird. I'm just kind of like hovering. Okay, we're back on. I'm in park. Does this still continue itself as a drive? Let's find out. We've got to wait for all these cars to go past there. Okay, that is. There you go, look at that. Autopilot comes straight back on. So all you actually need to do for it to complete a drive or complete that drive is to park the car. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Click park and you can you can continue on now with, with your drive like you were before. I wanna see one more time what the stalk actually does and whether the stalk makes a difference because last time it, it kind of did, but I'm not 100% sure. Again, my right hand, as you can see here, is you know literally touching the wheel. Uh, I'm touching cloth here, guys. That's, that's all I'm doing. And I'm just touching it so that you know I'm not breaking any rules. And let's see, we're going way under the speed limit thanks to the Ford Fiesta in front. Okay, apply slight force to the turning wheel. I'm just gonna bring it down five miles an hour. Has that made any difference? No, that's not made any difference. What if I speed it up? No, what if I accelerate slightly? No, okay, so it literally is the steering wheel. You really, you have to just, and you saw there how little I turned the steering wheel. I literally went like that and it recognized my hands. Whereas on the new Teslas, like I said, you actually don't need to do that. It's pretty much touch it and it's like, bang, you're there, which is pretty cool. That's it, that is what autopilot does if you leave it and break its own rules, even though all it's asking you to do is steer lightly. Uh, it puts you in almost like a suspension. Like, did you ever get suspended at school? Where it's like, no, you can't do that for the rest of the drive. I think at school it used to be, no, you can't go outside for like the rest of the day. That's pretty much what this does to us in autopilot, which is good, a good safety feature to have. And like I mentioned earlier about that guy that was driving drunk and fell asleep, never do that. Never drive with even a sip of alcohol, don't even bother, but don't drive and fall asleep. If you really do, the autopilot, okay, good, it saved him and saved anybody else because that could have been horrific. So autopilot, they're claiming like, you know, how many people have died from it. It's like one or two people have died since autopilot started. How many lives has it saved? Flip the argument around. How many lives has this thing saved? Could be thousands. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for a new Model 3, or you want to get yourself a pre-owned Model S, Model X, make sure to use my referral code. It is down below in the description. And if you want to buy yourself a mini supercharger, they're nearly all gone, but there are a few available still on teslodrivershop.com. So make sure to go check them out. Also the giveaway, the giveaway ends in literally like a few days. At the end of this month, our giveaway ends. If you haven't entered it, enter it. Someone is gonna win a hand-signed Elon Musk black signature edition wall connector. I, I would have loved to have kept it. I have no need to keep it and I'd rather give it away. So yeah, make sure you enter that. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, don't forget, drive safe.